medals uh, in your time at Ibrox. It's not the top division that they won, but just put it into context. How important was last night? I think it was very significant. If you can remember two seasons ago, you know, five days before the season started, Ali had five professional players on his books. That was all he had. You know, he said you had to bring in players from all over the world, you know, to try and get a squad that was going to try and win the fifth tier of Scottish football. You know, he did win it. You know, last season he was allowed to bring in eight or nine players, all three transfers, you know, and they've won a lead again. It's another step up the wrong. So I think it's very, very significant that Ali won the, the league again last night. You know, maybe not the greatest side in the world as far as Rangers are concerned, but it's a step in the right direction. They've won the title at a canter uh, once again. How much of a step up in class do you think it will be next season? Well, I think it is going to get, uh, it's going to get harder because there are a lot of good sides that are going to be in the championship next season. We all know that Hearts will be there. They will get stronger. There may well be yet another SPFL side coming down, depending on the playoffs. You know, you, you've got Hamilton, you've got Dundee, Queen of the South. So it's going to be significantly harder for Ali. To, they'll still be favourites, don't get me wrong, to go on and win that. But to be sure of winning it, then I think Ali's got the strength in the side. How much credit do you think Ali McCoy deserves? Because he has uh, stuck with it through some difficult times, yeah. as you mentioned, you know, not having any players uh, to turn out a couple of seasons back. I mean, it's not necessarily known how much he's earning, but it is a sign of his loyalty uh, that he has yeah. stuck with the club, isn't it? Well, I think there are a few supporters, you know, that have got short memories. Because, you know, had it been any other manager who was in charge two seasons ago, then they would have walked away. And, and Ali keeps telling everybody, he doesn't do walking away. You know, it's his club, he played for it, he's now managing it, he wants to do his best for it. And you look at him there, for a man that's played in Europe, 50-odd caps or whatever it is, he's won plenty of medals with Rangers, absolutely delighted with him and, and the players there, you know, to win the league last night. And that's what it means. A lot of these Rangers players haven't won anything in their career, so they were delighted as well to win that. There are still problems uh, off the field. Dave King, yeah. uh, now in the UK, uh, expected to travel uh, to Glasgow for talks with the board. Uh, what do you make of the things that he's been saying? Because he's been making some quite bold claims and, and trying to almost force the hand of the, of the fans. Well, he's a top Rangers man and always has been. If you can remember when David Murray was the owner of the club, he gave him £20 million. Didn't see any of that money, lost a lot, but still wants to come back in, you know, many years later and put money within Rangers. I know he's meeting with, uh, with top-level uh, Rangers supporters tomorrow before that meeting with the, the Rangers directors. And I think there's two things. You know, Rangers need investment badly and Dave King wants to invest I think when they go in that director's room, if it is at Ibrox, the meeting tomorrow, I think you lock the door and you keep them in there until the two of them come to some solution because the fans want Dave King. And I think in Graham Wallace, he's, he's one of the top men in, in, in British football, you know, for, for taking clubs uh, and knowing what to do with them. So I think if the two of them can get together, it could only be great for Rangers. It's not about individuals here. It's about Rangers Football Club. It's a massive family all over the world. And that's what they've got to be talking about. What's good for Rangers, not, what, not what's good for individuals. So potentially it could be a, almost a watershed moment for the club. Obviously we had yeah. that really um, distracting build-up to the AGM at the end of uh, last year. If the ownership sure. isn't sorted out now, once and for all, what impact do you see it having on the team, especially next season? Well, the Rangers fans are split. You know, there's some of them don't want to pay, you know, buy their season tickets. They would, you know, they would rather put it in a fund and then give it to Rangers, you know, month by month. You know, there are a few doing that. I think it's up now until 7,500 Rangers supporters have bought into it. But you can't have that. You know, there's a split in the family. And nobody likes that when, when the family is like that. So I think the next 48 hours will be very, very significant for Rangers Football Club. Derek, great to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Pleasure once again. Thank you. Well, the Premier League darts returns this evening.